Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we are going to be doing a plug haul fail video. So this is actually the second time I am filming this first portion of the video. Um, the first time that I filmed it, unfortunately the data was corrupted and I literally just found out about 20 minutes ago, so here I am refilming this first part. I'm a little bummed out because the first portion would have been so good because something awesome happened on camera, but now it's corrupted and we will never get to see that part. So yeah, we're just going to go through this plug haul. I got all of this stuff from Amazon and I put fail in the title because half of these worked out really well, they're awesome, they're great, and the other half, not so much. But before we dive into what those plugs are and which ones failed, we do have a sponsor for this video, and the sponsor of today's video is Skillshare. Before we dive into the nitty gritty of this haul, let's go ahead and listen to a word from our sponsors. So in case any of you do not know what Skillshare is, Skillshare is an online learning community for creative individuals wanting to learn more about any particular skill. You can learn more about any subject all through short online educational videos for only around $10 a month. But the first 1,000 people to use the link in my description box will get a free trial of a Skillshare premium membership. So I have been considering starting a new editing software, just kind of trying something new because I've been using the same editing software for years now. But thankfully the editing software that I am interested in trying, Skillshare has tons of tutorials on how to actually use the program and step-by-step -step tutorials. So the class that I have found and actually just started as of like, you know, a couple days ago is DaVinci Resolve 16, the complete video editing course by Patrick and Hoffer. I am absolutely terrible with editing and editing programs. So to have kind of like a step-by-step -step tutorial showing me how to use an editing software is absolutely amazing. They also have other tutorials on how to edit photos on your phone as far as like phone apps and how to edit photos on Photoshop as well. So if Skillshare sounds like something for you, click the link in my description box to get a free Skillshare premium membership trial. I promise you guys will love it. You'll enjoy it. You won't regret it. And thank you so, so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel. Now let's get into the video. If you guys are interested in trying Skillshare and you want to get your creative juices flowing, make sure you go down, click the link in my description box, sign up for Skillshare so you can get your free trial of a Skillshare premium membership. There is a lot to learn, lots of stuff on there, so if you are stuck at home, you're bored, you want to try something new, hop on Skillshare and see what you can find. And thanks again so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. If you guys watched my last plug haul, it was a plug haul from Body Art Forms, and I got a whole bunch of stuff on there. And if you guys remembered in that video, they did forget to send me a pair of plugs that I had ordered, and it didn't come in my order. Well, I reached out to them, and they were kind enough to resend them. And I actually have them in right now because I really wanted to show you guys what they looked like in. So they are these double zero, double flared, plugs and on the inside of them I don't know if you can see but they have little like zombie hands or little skeleton hands whatever you want to call them They're super cool and I really wanted to show you what they looked like in the ears sorry my makeup is all like rubbing off right here it was not like that in the first clips it has been hours since I've done my makeup so now everything is kind of like wearing off I am so sorry about that but I just try to ignore it and just focus on the little plugs right here. They are so freaking cute. I absolutely love them. And I just wanted to kind of show you guys. I did post a picture on my Instagram. but Okay, so now we can dive into the plugs that I got off of Amazon. So I was on Amazon not too long ago just getting some stuff that I needed for my house. Just like, you know, thermometers. Uh, I think I got some quinoa. Just a bunch of random shit. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go on and I'm going to dive into and see if I can find... Um, some more plugs to add to my collection. So I have been at double zero now for quite some time. So those are all of the sizes that I got today. And I found a couple of them that are really, really super cool. And the rest of them that I thought were cool are not cool anymore to me. They fucking suck because <laughs> they don't fit. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that. But the two that I got that I'm really, really happy with are 
these guys right here. So I really, really like the look of like the spiral hangers, the spiral looking plugs, the really big spiral ones. I don't know why. I know it's kind of like a dated look, but honestly, I love the dated look. I think these are super cool. So I found these on Amazon. They weren't too expensive and they are these glass little spirals right here. So I have this pair, which is like an orange and pink matte. And then I have this pair, which is a blue and white. They are glass and they are double zero. And oh my gosh, you guys, they look so cool in. So I'm going to show you what they look like. So here is the pink and orange color. So there are what those guys look like right there. And I'm going to pop this guy out and show you what the blue and white ones look like we go so here are what the blue and white ones look like i personally really really like the look of the blue and white ones i think they are super fucking rad the orange and pink ones are pretty cool too but i definitely think i like the look of the more shiny ones more but these ones are really cool they're really comfortable they are a little bit heavy but they're not too heavy super cute super comfortable and i just love the way that these look it gives like a very dramatic look so if you're wearing kind of like a chill outfit and you like to accessorize with your body jewelry like myself then these would be absolutely perfect so I am loving these right here. I definitely want to get more of these. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of these personally. I am just, I freaking love the looks. They are so, so badass. And I can shake my head, I can move around, and they go nowhere. They're definitely in there, so I don't need any sort of like o-rings or anything with these they fit really really well the thickest part obviously is the part right up here so this part is double zero and then obviously it gets smaller as it goes down so i am going to be posting some instagram photos with these guys in so if you guys want to see like you know how they look in pictures and stuff then make sure you go and follow me on instagram and then the rest of the plugs that i got <sighs> Such a fail. Such a fucking fail, you guys. So I think I was talking about in my last plug haul, I was talking about how I I have been getting like the stretched ear smell. I, I know a lot of people know what I'm talking about. If you have your ears stretched, then you know exactly what smell I'm talking about. But it's basically like a smell that your ears get when you stretch them. It's very normal. It's not anything bad. It's just a thing. And a lot of you guys told me to try glass and wood plugs because that can kind of help with the smell. Now the smell doesn't bother me and it's not super like pungent, like you can't smell me when I'm walking by you, it's nothing that bad. But I was like, you know what, I really do want to try some wood plugs. So I went on Amazon and I searched up double zero wood plugs and tunnels and I found a set that came in two packs and they look like this, are the double flared wood tunnels. As you can see, you can see right through them there. So it came with those and then it also came with these right here and these are just the solid wood plugs and again these are also double flared now my issue with these is and I did not know this until I googled it afterwards but I did not realize that when you have smaller sizes which I guess double zero is considered a smaller size but when you have smaller sizes in your ears double flared is almost impossible to get in and I did not know that now a lot of my other double flared plugs that I have will either unscrew on the back or in the front depending on you know whatever style it is and I can put them in that way but these ones you obviously can't unscrew they're just wood double flared plugs right you guys you guys I cannot get these in I cannot get these in to save my life. My ears are just too small to fit the double flares where I need them to because this inner part right here, this is double zero, but these flares right here are not. So it's almost damn near impossible for me to get these in. I have tried and tried and tried and tried to get these in and I just can't do it. And even if I did get them in, would I even be able to leave them in long enough without them getting stuck? You know what I mean? So these were definitely kind of a fail. If you guys have any tips for me on how to make double flared plugs work and how to insert them safely, please let me know. I mean, do I really have to stretch my ears up again to get these to work? Because I really don't want to do that. I want to stay at double zero. 
but I just don't see how I, w I could get these to work without stretching my ears up, you know what I mean? So this was a really, really frustrating buy. And when I, first, when I recorded this first portion of the video earlier in the day, when my makeup wasn't rubbing off all over the damn place, I actually was able to fit one in and I caught it on camera and I couldn't believe I did that. I'm gonna try again for the second portion. I'm gonna try it on this ear. I'm gonna see if I can get them in. But I did find one video that was kind of helpful on how you can fit them in. We are gonna give it a try here and I'm gonna show you how fucking difficult it is to get these suckers in. So I have some vitamin E oil right here. This stuff is a must if you have stretched ears. You always gotta massage them and take good care of them and you know, all that jazz. I'm gonna give it a massage. And I have literally done everything. I've done ear massages. I have, um, you know, gone in the shower and massaged them in the shower with warm water. And I just cannot get these fuckers in. So I'm gonna make sure my ear is nice and lubed up with some vitamin E oil. And I'm going to take whatever's left over and I'm gonna put it on the double flared part. I had no idea that when you stretch your ears, you can't wear double flared plugs. I did not know that, like it didn't even cross my mind. Oh, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put one end of the flare in my ear and I'm gonna pull down and just kind of stretch my ear a little bit. Oh, I think I could get it. So basically they tell you to kind of just pull down and kind of finagle it in. Ow. Oh, ah, holy fuck. Jesus. Okay, so I was able to get them in again. So here are what the solid wood plugs look like and they look really cool. Like I love the look of them. But now here's my other issue. Okay, cool, awesome, I have them in. But now if I wanna take them out, that means I have to go through all of that pain again. You know what I mean? So it's just like, it's so incredibly frustrating because they fit really good, they look really good, but it's like, God damn it, dude. Like, it's impossible. So to take them out, you basically have to stretch your ear down. Ah. And this doesn't feel great. And just kind of pop them out like that. They're not comfortable at all to put in. I'm yeah, there's no way I'm gonna be able to get these to fit. Like my ear is starting to get really, really sore. But yeah, like look at that. Like this is fucking bullshit. And what's weird about that is these little zombie hand ones that I just showed you guys in the beginning, these are double flared. They don't unscrew and I have no issue fitting these in my ears. So I'm wondering if like the double flare on these wood ones are just too big. Such a fucking fail. The next set of plugs that I got are an even bigger fail than anything else. And even though I'm more angry about the wood ones, I'm angry about these ones because they were the most expensive. And they look like this. Really, really cool. Again, I just got done telling you guys that I really like the look of the whole spiral looking things. So I wanted to get some um, like smaller spirals, like ones that didn't hang down so far. And I found these white acrylic ones which I thought would be really cool because my hair is black, so I feel like these would be like a really cool contrast or whatever. And I read the reviews of these and the reviews were all positive except for one. And one of the reviews was someone said that they got these and they were way too big. And I was like, okay, one negative review out of all the other ones. Yeah, I'm just gonna get them and stay fuck it. So I ordered double zero, okay? 10 millimeters, that is my size, right? So I order that and then I get these in the mail. <sighs> There's no way these are 10 millimeter, okay? So if you guys can see right here, do you see how, yeah, I broke a nail too. So that's gonna be the difference between this portion of the video and the second one. Anyway, do you guys see like how ginormous these are? like? This part right here, there's no way that's 10 millimeters. And that's where your ear is supposed to go, is like right in the middle there. So it's supposed to like hang all cool and whatnot, you know what I mean? Like it's supposed to look like that. But literally, like I can't even get these to fit even a little bit because they're, they're way too fucking big. So you go to put them in like this and you slide them and that's where my ear stops. 
okay? They're not supposed to look like that. And if they are, then maybe I'm just really mistaken. But from the pictures I saw, my ear is supposed to go all the way up to here. But that would be impossible, right? Because they're so fucking big and my ear literally will not go any further without me completely blowing it out and getting cat hole butt. Cat butthole. Butthole cat. You guys know what I mean. Ugh, I'm so mad about these because it's like I want them to go further but there's no way that they're gonna go further. When I like shake my head and stuff, like see what they do? See that? They just fall right out. And for those of you who are gonna be like, well just wear O-rings with them. <laughs> Beat you to it. I already tried wearing these with O-rings and I just could not do it. Like literally could not do it. They still fall, they still fell out even with O-rings. And I'm super bummed about it because they look cool. Like I can definitely see the potential in these, but there's no way these are double zero. Like no way in burning hell. So that was now the first portion of this video refilmed. Now we're going to jump into the second portion that didn't get corrupted earlier in the day. So I'm gonna look a little bit different. The lighting's gonna look a little bit different. So here we go. Three, two, one, jump. Those are all of the plugs that I got from Amazon. As you can see, only two of the pairs that I got, this blue and white pair and this little green, or green, oh my gosh, orange and pink pair are really the only pairs that worked out and were worth a damn. The other ones, I'm just kind of biting the bullet and just like taking it as it is that it was a total waste of money. I do plan on having one again up on my channel very, very soon. It is going to be from Urban Body Jewelry. I'm really excited. They reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to do a plug review for them. And I said, absolutely. So I am gonna go on and make an order and then I will have another kind of plug haul from them in the future, which I'm really excited about. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments comments which pair of plugs are your favorite do you guys have any of the same experiences as I do if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see future plug hauls make sure you go down and give this video a huge thumbs up also if you are new to my channel and you yourself have your ears stretched make sure you go down and hit that red subscribe button I do upload every three to four days here but as for the rest of you I love you guys so so much and until then I will see you very soon in my next video I love you guys and happy stretching. Bye. Mwah.